Welcome to Whiskey and Chai. I am Silas McBain. I'm Dr. Amy Kabar. If you want a chance to have your emails read and answered on this show, please email us at whiskeyandchai at darkestgoth.com. Mother Irreverent has some interesting uh, email fodder for us today. So, Mother Irreverent, what's uh, first on the agenda today? Ricardo from Germany asks... Hey, Dr. K-Bar, how to cure blue waffle STD? D. K-Bar. Ricardo? Or Who said he could call me? Ricardo? Ricardo? What? What did he say? First of all, Ricardo? nobody said you could call me D. K-Bar. Ricardo? Ricardo? All right, I think that's supposed to stand for Dr. K-Bar, but uh, all right, whatever. Hey, he's foreign. So? He's foreign. Why are you giving him shit? He doesn't sp- all right. You know, the English is maybe a little broken. Don't be a dick about it. What is a blue waffle? That's, that, that's not a real thing. I think somebody's trying to mess with us. I don't know. Uh, you're the doctor here, dude. I mean, he asked you. Is it like when you squish something in a waffle iron and it turns blue? Oh, stop. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> blue waffle STD. I don't know. I've never heard of blue waffle STD. Come on. You got to know. You got to do better than this. You're a doctor. Somebody comes Somebody comes to your practice tomorrow. I got the blue waffle STD. What are you going to do? I'm going to Google that shit. Just like I had to Google sex balls once. You can't believe everything you read on the internet. I know, obviously, but I just Google it to find out what the common person thinks. You know what you should do? Go to Wikipedia. Oh, God. Fine. Let's figure it out. So, Go to Wikipedia right now while we're talking. Go okay, to Wikipedia fine. right now. Fine, I will. I am. Look up Blue Waffle STD. <sighs> Says it's something wiki wiki about vaginitis. Vaginitis, what is that? I don't know. Sounds like something that every married man comes down with. Oh, okay, no, no. So vaginitis is just inflammation of the vagina. Uh, is there such thing as penisitis? Mm, no, it's called balanitis. It's called what? Not balanitis, but balanitis. Ba- balanitis. Yep. In- inflammation of the. Ugh, these pictures are horrific. Okay. Oh God, there's pictures. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> okay, so what do we got? So what do we got? Okay, Doctor Amy, tell us about uh, blue waffle okay, STD. Okay, so according to UrbanDictionary.com, I thought you were going to Wiki. No, it didn't come up on Wiki actually. So your b- beloved Wikipedia didn't follow through. Well, then it must not be real. Continue. Okay, so supposedly it appears to be an STD on on or in the vaginal region. It is fictional and overly exaggerated vaginal infection images that somebody. Created. Okay, so I'm I'm immune to it. <laughs> That's all that matters. Yes. So therefore, it's not an STD. Moving on. Yeah. Next. So so Ritardo in Germany, he's immune to it too. Correct. So he doesn't know what the hell he's got. Yeah, you got something else, buddy. He's got a blue thing on his pecker or something. Moving on. Okay, moving on. Mother Irreverent, next. Stupid question. Hey, Silas and Amy. Love the new email thing. I'm in the medical use only state of Michigan. My first question is for Dr. Amy. What illnesses do I need to have in order to get prescribed medical marijuana? And Silas, what is the best way to fake those illnesses? Or can you just buy a fake ID that's already set up with someone else's medical info? Website would be greatly appreciated. Monica D., Michigan. (laughs) (laughs) I I smell what you're stepping in, Monica. I, I uh, I see where you're going here. Okay, Dr. Amy, what... Uh, oh, medical marijuana. Yeah, what uh, what illnesses um, are treated with medical marijuana? Uh, supposedly all of them. Oh, well, that was easy. No, truly. I mean, they have a different type of marijuana for every single type of illness. Diarrhea? I have nausea, marijuana. Diarrhea? I have MS, marijuana. Diarrhea? I don't... I don't, I don't know about that. I don't, that's not an actual, that's a symptom. No. Um, I have... Dysentery. I don't think that, I don't think marijuana cures anything. Let's, let's get, get that out there, first of all. You know, I think that it probably has its place for some symptom treatment and relief, but it's not a cure. Haven't they done studies, though? And I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm a layman here. I'm obviously not a doctor, but I also am quite a bit smarter than you are. Haven't they done some studies where cannabis has greatly reduced cancer cells and things of that nature, right? No, not cancer cells. It reduces nausea when people are undergoing chemotherapy, and it helps with pain. Mm. Could use some right now. You know, but there's no actual curative. I'm, I'm not, I, I can't get off this yet because I, I really do think I'm right that I have read, like, marijuana essential oil kills cancer, there are various forms of broken down cannabis 
that are extremely beneficial to cancer patients and often leads to a full cancer recovery. Am I just totally out of my mind about this? I yes, mean, I've read you're wrong. I, wrong. I'm not making this up. I've read it. Where? Don't say it. Okay. Don't say it. Okay. Not gonna. I won't. Then don't ask me where. No, that's not true. That's okay. not true. It does not cure anything. Okay. Next. All right. All right. Well, no, there's my part of the question. I get to answer. Oh, uh, sorry. Okay. All right. So what's the best way to fake the symptoms in order to receive medical marijuana? So apparently dysentery is out of the question. I thought that would be a good way because that's- How can you fake dysentery? A whole bunch of X-lax. Oh, God. Some cod liver oil, a couple burritos from Taco Bell. Ugh. Problem solved. You're shitting for days. Okay. Fine. Next. Give me something that is typically treated with medical marijuana. I just told you. Nausea. Okay, nausea. That's easy. Anybody can fake that, right? Weight loss or uh, decreased appetite. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to make up anything. Just say you're nauseous. Wait, decreased appetite can get you a medical marijuana prescription? Yeah, there's actually... Um... I just go to the doctor and be like, I'm not hungry. Give me some weed. They're like, yeah, man, you're right. You totally need some weed. You're not hungry. Oh, I get it, though. Oh, I just put two and two together. Decreased appetite, get some weed... Munchies, Cheetos, fat again, everybody wins! Correct. Okay. So smart you are. Okay. I get it. I get it. Yeah, doctor's got a couple things figured out. That's actually pretty clever. That's pretty clever. Okay, what else? Oh, what about, what's the eye thing? Glaucoma, right? What? They no. give you weed for glaucoma, right? Doesn't weed make your eyes red? How in the bloody hell are you a doctor? <laughs> or glassy or whatever. Glaucoma. Yeah, what about glaucoma? They give you medical marijuana. No, they don't. Yes, they do. I, I don't know. I don't practice in a state that has medical marijuana, so I don't know. You shouldn't be practicing in any state. <gasps> How can you say that? Your lack of knowledge is astounding. You make your little sad face all you want. It is absurd. <laughs> I can't believe. I know what I know, and I don't know what I don't know. That's it. Wow. I don't try to make shit up. Wow. I need to put, I need to print that on a t-shirt. That was brilliant. I know what I know and I don't know what I don't know. That's, thank you, doctor. Mother of Reverend, next question, please. Dr. Kabar, I've heard giving your kids Benadryl at night can cause them to have brain damage. Is that true? My three-year-old is allergic to bug bites, so I have to give that to him, and my physician said it's okay, but I'm still concerned. Heather H. from Ohio. All right, so bottom line is, Allergy medicine doesn't make kids retarded. Not that I know of. Okay. So you didn't take a bunch of allergy medicine when you were a kid? <laughs> no. You don't currently take allergy medicine? No, that's not the reason you think I'm whatever the word is. Brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every, every now and again I get this wonderful little moment where you just prove my point without me having to say anything at all. It's beautiful. What? It's worse than me. I hate you. What? You don't God. hate me. You don't hate I do, me. Actually. You don't yeah, hate me. Do. You couldn't live without me. Hate's a strong word, darling. I know. You shouldn't, you shouldn't I mean say it. the word hate. Mm -hmm. You don't mean it. Stop I it. Do. You're going to hurt my feelers. Feelers? You got my feel bads all stepped on. I'm irritated. Okay, so bottom line is Benadryl does not make kids retarded. Yes. Or brain damage, or whatever it was. It's all different ways to say the same okay, thing. Okay, let's try to be a little more PC. No, Silas doesn't do that. Benadryl does not cause brain damage. You can't. You should not give Benadryl more than three times a day. Okay. That's true. I'm not, I mean, whatever your doctor says is probably correct. I mean, what, three times a day? Is that like you divide the bottle up into thirds? Oh, my God. No! The appropriate dosing. Okay. Well, I mean, isn't that subjective? What do you mean subjective? No, it says right there, one teaspoon. What if you've got a really, really fat kid? That has nothing to do with anything. The Benadryl's not going to work as well on the fat kid as it is on the little skinny kid, right? Yeah, well. Mm-hmm. It will. I disagree. Okay. We agree to disagree. Because I think the fat kid could do two shots of whiskey to every one that the skinny kid does. That, what? That has nothing to do with this. No, it's it's exactly the same thing. No, you're talking about tolerance, alcohol tolerance versus drug tolerance. Okay, I I get what you're saying as far as, like, somebody who weighs more should be taking more Benadryl. Fine, that's probably true. Boom. But it says on there. Boom! Boom! Win. I don't think that was a win. Win. Mother Irreverent, do we have one more? This one from Death Child from Utah. Dr. Amy, I'm an amateur survivalist. 
what the hell? Like you're still trying to learn how to survive? I don't get that. I've heard that if you have to survive, you can drink your own urine to stay alive, but you can only do it one pass through your body. If you try after that, it'll shut down your kidneys. Is that true? Death child? You know what? Death child? How appropriate. I think you should try it and let me know. Go drink your piss, death child. Have yourself a pea cocktail there, death child. These are stupid questions. Good God. Don't ask stupid questions. What was it? Death child? Death child. <laughs> okay, fine. So they wanted to be anonymous. It's fine. <laughs> That's a hell of a way to go anonymous. <laughs> No, 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 seriously though, seriously though, as as a doctor, because I'm actually- I'm still not understanding the drink your own urine part. What, want to drink your own urine? No, I wouldn't say want to, but I think most people have heard at some point throughout the course of their life that one can consume their own urine in order to survive if necessary. Yeah. Okay. Mm, I don't think it's actually going to keep you alive forever. But not forever, but for a certain amount of time. Is it a sustainable source of liquid? Not if you're not drinking. No, not if you're not drinking any water. Mm, okay. So if uh, if I were to drink my own pee and just continue recycling it, at some point, anything I could get out of that would be gone. Yes. Okay. Death child. There you go. You have now. <laughs> Learned all you want to know about drinking your own piss. <laughs> <laughs> this this show, this show. Oh, good lord. Um, those are good questions, though. You treated our viewers like shit. Sometimes you just have to say it as it is. Especially poor fucking Retardo in Germany, with the blue waffle on his dick. You wrecked him pretty good. I think he did that to himself. Well, I'm gonna get Retardo's physical address, and you're gonna send him a card. Apologize. Apologize for what? For making him look like a retard. <laughs> no. Well, his name is retarded. <laughs> oh, Dr. Amy, do you have anything else to add to this incredibly stimulating medical conversation we've had? You just want to get the hell out of this? I don't think we should be giving medical advice on this show. I don't think you should be giving medical. I think I'm more qualified to give medical <laughs> advice than you are. That's what's hysterical. Oh. Man. So. Marijuana, Benadryl, urine. Yeah, That's everybody, a pretty darn good sounding cocktail. In closing, uh, drink your pee, have some Benadryl, smoke a J, whatever you want to do, man. None of it's going to cure cancer, I guess. Remember to like or subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, follow us on Twitter. We want to hear your thoughts. Leave them in the comments. Good night, kids. <laughs> <laughs>